Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Google is further in their progress regarding um, Google Chrome's new toolbar icons that Google is testing um, in Chrome Canary and the preview versions. And some of these can also be enabled uh, in the stable version, which I've posted, and I'll leave that video uh, linked down below and in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that today uh, in my region in Chrome Canary 128, the latest preview version, I noticed one or two changes regarding uh, the toolbar icons and customizing the browser. So if you are following new features in Chrome, just a quick video to keep you guys posted. So if we head to the new toolbar section, we can see at the top now, compared to when I posted last, they've actually given us a little image of the toolbar choose what buttons show in the toolbar which kind of gives you a visual representation of what it's all about and the last video I posted they added uh, the reset to default and I've also noticed in the canary version they've added chrome labs so you can actually enable chrome labs to the toolbar which is obviously the experimental side and active experiments that google is working on uh, in the browser now as you can see I have two labs now this one here to the, let's turn this one off first. This one here was enabled with an experimental flag and it seems now that Google in the Canary version is giving us a so-called default toggle now for Chrome Labs, which I actually think is quite nice and I actually think I'm going to disable that flag and keep the default. And uh, something else is they've also put a little banner here to rearrange buttons on the toolbar, drag them, which I think is great because not everybody may know that. So... On the toolbar if you want to rearrange there we go you get the idea and there we go so you can rearrange those by dragging and dropping them to your own personal choice and preference so um, very similar to what's happening um, over in microsoft edge and it seems that uh, google is playing a little bit of catch up as i've mentioned previously with the edge browser so i've also spoken about on the channel that i actually quite like this new customized chrome with this toolbar uh, menu I think it brings a lot of functionality and gives you a lot of um, options to personalize the browser to your own personal choice and preference. And I have noticed that previously we had four sections available. Now we only get three. So we only get navigation, your Chrome, and tools and actions now. So I think they have um, combined one of those sections and just popped that into another section giving us three and moving that down from four to three which i actually think is a little bit better uh, there were too many sections available previously so they've just kind of thinned that out a little bit but nonetheless that's just some um updates regarding the progress that google is making on customizing chrome and this i think will definitely make its way into the stable version um already we can pin toolbar buttons and icons to the toolbar in the stable to some extent with the other as as default features so i think it's just a matter of time um, before uh, google brings this full functionality like we see it now in chrome canary to stable and obviously i'll keep you guys posted if and when that happens so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one